Hey everybody, I'm Mark Daly, Director of Training for Transformative Solutions here in Denver, Colorado. We show teams and organizations how to move from a negative work environment to a positive team culture and improve productivity, profits, and job satisfaction. This quick tip video will show you what to do when your team is stuck in perpetual negative conflict. This is what was happening to an HR manager with a large police department. She contacted us, told us she was at her wit's end with the arguments that never ended. The team of frontline supervisors and managers were long-standing employees. He'd been there 15, 20, 25 years, but they didn't know how to work with millennials. They hated millennials. They were experiencing a huge amount of staff turnover despite investing a lot of money training new hires. From her perspective, because the organization was crisis-driven and always on high alert, the supervisors and managers had no tolerance for mistakes, and any feedback was like a challenge to the status quo. There was no foundation of trust on the team and no way to give meaningful feedback, two things that millennials absolutely hate. So in our strategy session, we recommended quarterly leadership trainings for the supervisors and managers for a whole year. We also offered three-month executive coaching packages to help those who were having a hard time with the millennials. Before the first training, we administered the DISC personality style assessment for the staff and identified that the majority of people in supervisory positions were dominant personality style. No surprise there. Fast-paced and task-oriented. So we started out our first training using our classic Kurt Lewin three-phase model of behavior change where we start by unfreezing the team. We got them talking about what wasn't working, what was causing this high turnover, and they reported out by complaining about the new hires. They didn't have a good work ethic. They didn't listen to instructions. They're always on their phone. They were totally entitled. They were totally disrespectful of authority and were acting like children who needed babysitting. They also complained about the workload and the intensity and the redundancy and all the inefficiencies of the bureaucracy, the long hours and how hard the job actually was. So then we led a discussion about important leaders in their lives and what made a good team leader. The team said the good leaders are good listeners, honest, fair, patient, walked their talk, and took time to help their direct reports develop their skills and their career path. So, we next turned to the DISC model and identified those high number of Ds on the team. And they started to talk about what it was like for them to have a D style, all the strengths and all the challenges. And we all agreed that the get her done, use a bigger hammer attitude was great and perfect for the fast paced, intense work environment. We also acknowledged the big challenge for the Ds was being too confrontational, argumentative, and a bit abrupt. We like to be right because we are right. I swear that's what they said. It was easy for them to criticize, but it was hard to give positive feedback and praise. Then I pointed to the list of leadership qualities. These supervisors realized that they struggled doing what a lot of the good leaders do. So we had the buy-in and we started the training using the Wurla tool. Now the Wurla is a five-word, five-part tool. It's an acronym and it helps leaders adapt their communication and create positive conflict. We told them that conflict is just a difference of opinion with a strong emotion. All conflict is caused by unmet needs. And from our point of view, there's nothing wrong with conflict when both sides agree to use the rules of engagement that make it productive. The problem is with toxic negative conflict that never ends. So we had them use the Wurla. That's a tool that we invented to create productive conflict and start to work on real conversations that were really going on in the workplace. So we started with a W, what happened? Just like a video camera would record it. Take out the judgments, the blaming, the negativity. You'll never get the other person to really hear you. They'll just turn you off and they'll just go into defense. So get the W going. They understood it was so much better to say, when you arrive 12 minutes late to the meeting instead of you're always late for meetings. <laughs> then the I stands for the impact. Getting them to describe the impact in real terms. What was affected? What was a negative effect on the behavior on the team? And they really liked doing that. The R was for the request. And we taught them about making a request and how a request is yes or no. And they had a hard time with that. They like to do demands, right? They didn't want to hear a no. But we remember conflict is a difference of opinion, so you're going to get no. Which leads to the L in Wurla. Listen. 
Listen, listen, people need to be heard. Listening keeps a productive conflict productive, right? Teaching them to slow down, listen and reflect back what they'd heard, confirm they got it right, reflect back again, confirm again. This was hard work for those guys with the natural tendency to quickly challenge one another and argue. They said it felt fake. And I pointed to the leadership list. Patient, good listeners, fair. This is what all the millennials want. And if they had to make a change, they could solve the problem. They said they got it. Then we covered the A in the ERLO, which is the agreement. And we showed them how to go back and forth to negotiate clear, solid agreements and to include accountability in the agreement. And taught them how to re renegotiate agreements when they broke down, because they will break down. We instituted this training for two years and we actually did it with the new hires that were onboarded. And yes, there were a lot of supervisors that resisted the training and they didn't actually stick around. It was like they were addicted to the conflict, they needed the drama. But the team met their goals. The HR manager reported to us that there was a lot more positivity in the workplace and that the, uh, the number of new hires was going down and down and down. And then she actually moved downtown to a bigger department and took the disc and the whirla with her. So if you've got this problem with perpetual conflict that never ends, we can help. You know, we have a two minute survey on our website, transformativetraining.com. You can take that and then give us a call. We do a 20 minute strategy session with you and we'll give you strategies that are proven to increase your productivity, increase job satisfaction, increase profitability. So don't delay, do something different. We can help. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip video from Transformative Solutions.